Hi everybody, it's Donna with a little um, God Time for Women devotionals. Donna with Donna Steals and DIYs. I'm back with another devotional called Scandalous Forgiveness. There are a few things worse than being unjustly wronged. It's not easy when you're hurt, especially by someone close to you. A deep part of each of us cries out for justice. It's a God-given trait meant to call us to stand in the gap for the hurting, the widow, the orphan. It's our longing for true religion. When we identify, justice, we identify injustice, that longing rises up strongly. We feel pain, hurt, confusion, and pressure. And more than all of these emotions, we feel the deep need to see justice served. This is the scandal of the gospel. This is the very essence of the Jesus we follow. Someone wrongs you, forgive him. He wrongs you again, forgive again. But Lord, he was wrong. He was sinful. He hurt me deeply. He ans The answers will still be the same. Forgives, forgive as I have forgiven you. Be on your guard. If your brother sins, rebuke him. If he repents, forgive him. If he sins against you seven times a day and returns to you seven times, saying, I repent, forgive him. Luke 17, 3, 4. Beloved, we have been forgiven much, therefore we must love much. No matter how hard it is today to forgive someone who hurt you, remember how much you have been forgiven. How can we extend any less grace than that which we have received? And that is really, really good. It's not easy, but it's good, and it's good to be reminded in Scripture specifically. Um, that way we can hold ourselves accountable to that. If you have any prayer requests, please send them to me at platware at yahoo.com. My um, email address is in my description box as well, along with some prayer requests that are desperately needed. So if you would please continue to pray for those prayer requests, I would appreciate it. Please share me out. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already and comment below. And have a wonderful, blessed Monday. Remember that I love you, God loves you, and God bless you.